All right, in a chop double, a lot of times your opponent will not tie up with you and they'll stand, sometimes a square stance, sometimes a stagger stance, and they keep their lines of defense in front of you. This might be late in a match where they maybe have a one point lead on you and they're just keeping a solid square stance. And I've got to get through my lines of defense. Again, a double leg is a high percentage move if I can get in on this guy's leg. So this is called a chop double. What I'm going to do is as I'm walking into my opponent now and I'm going to come with my lead leg, I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to chop both of his wrists down and out in like a triangle position here. And I'm going to do it as hard as I possibly can as I'm walking into my opponent. I'm going to use my momentum to drive into him once I've chopped both of those uh, lines of defense out of the way, okay? So as I walk in, I chop, extend my hands forward, and drive in. Just a quick little drop step again in on my knee, back into good position. Head up, back straight, drive leg ready to finish. Now, one thing I do want to point out here, when I'm in on my double, there's a lot of different ways you can have your hands here. One of the things I like to do is keep up tight on the back of the thighs. If my opponent sprawls, it takes that sprawl away from him. Sometimes i found when I'm down here lower and they go to sprawl, it's a little bit harder to keep that guy's hip sucked into me, whereas if I'm up tight here, I can keep him in better position. So again, this is my chop double. My opponent's square, he might be staggered, but he's just not wanting to tie up with me late in the match. I don't care how much hand fake I'm gonna give this guy. He doesn't wanna tie up with me. As I walk in, I'm gonna chop down in a triangle position with my hands to give myself enough room to get my body through that hole. Right into my double, head up, back straight, drive leg, and ready to finish.